In 2008, Kroger's closed um, a grocery store on the west side of Dayton, and it was the only full-service grocery store on the west side of the city. At the time, we're sitting in our office and we're saying to ourselves, this is outrageous. There's gonna be a massive void of the access to fresh and healthy food. What can we as lawyers do? One of the backstories for Dayton is that because of the Kroger's closing, that 40,000 residents only have one primary grocery store. To get there, it takes two buses. Right? You gotta take a bus downtown, you gotta take a bus up. So that's about three hours of a journey um, that you have to calculate, you know, and if you have a big family, do you take two trips or do you bring multiple people with you? And so there's always extra levels. If you don't have that time and resources to do that because of your work schedule or whatever, then you go to the corner store to get your food. We are invited to a meeting called by the Miami Valley Organizing Collaborative, um, their organizer, Erica Bruton, and she was responding to data that came out showing that in West Dayton that there is a big glut of access to fresh and healthy food. So as lawyers, you know, we play the role of providing the legal support to the community. When it came time to, for example, to start the grocery store, we had to incorporate the grocery store as a nonprofit. The Gem City Market is going to be uh, community-owned and, and worker-owned. Uh, so far we have about 2,000 plus members in the last two years. It's going to be a full-service grocery store. Uh, I often say it's going to be likened to Trader Joe's. So we're also going to have a, a teaching kitchen. We want to be a hub for the community. We want to be seen as a resource for the community to come together, have meetings, to, to engage in ideas, right? You know, instead of being members and owners, we're talking about leaders, because we want a leaderful organization. We really co-create what this can be together. Our work with uh, the Gem City Market started when there was a Move Ohio Forward grant from the Attorney General's office that was administered through OLAF. And then approximately two and a half years ago, we received the Neighborhood Stabilization funding from OLAF, which has funded my time on this project for the past almost two and a half years. This work that I've been doing for Gem City Market, it's not traditional legal service work. Um, and if it wasn't for the flexibility um, that OLAF provides the programs to do innovative work, then we wouldn't be able to support the community in the way that they need supported. And this project wouldn't be where it is today. I am extremely thankful and awe of the work that ABLE is doing. We literally have on the ground community and lawyers working together. It's, it's, it's profound.